everyone, T.I. Freak here. We're doing a uh, little bit of a different video today. Um, at some point we'll be doing an update on some of the projects I've been working on. But for starters, we are going to go visit the new ABBA world because apparently there's some big things that have been changed using terrain control by our wonderful member Elemental. So I promised I would go check it out and see what he's done and possibly record it. And I've decided that recording would be awesome. I'd need more content since the one project that I've really been hammering on and I didn't bother recording it because of uh, how boring it would be and I still don't have a good um, editing software so uh, let's see I think we need to go north Looks like we got spawned in on a custom village, possibly. Oh, nope, guess I was going the wrong way. Would be helpful if I could fly. Then again, that would be cheating. Looks like I need to come back with my uh, axe and claim some of the oak that's laying around here. <clears throat> I am the claimer of all things oak. Oh, mycelium. Very nice. At some point, I need to start a mycelium farm. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go upwards. I, I hear a ghast. at that. <clears throat> Let's get higher up. So, it seems that Elemental has created a volcano. And, um, needless to say, it has taken several days, well, actually probably weeks now, to uh, perfect this. We've been having a lot of server crashers any time, er, crashes any time that we make an attempt to uh, get close to this biome that he's created. Um, and well, now it seems that he's managed to finally get things figured out. We are going to very carefully and gently not die in lava. Uh, All right, uh, let's go run across here. I saw, I think, little moonbeam over there, so we're gonna go say hi. Um, hmm. <clears throat> There's got to be a safe way around all this, so that's not it. Hmm. Uh, Going up. Ha. I am victorious. <clears throat> Alright. Oops. Oops. There we go. Still suffering a little bit of uh, FPS lag here, but. Oh. Oh, well, look at all of this fun. I'm quite terrible at bows and arrows, so. Just try and not get shot into the lava by them. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's see. Ah. Not a huge fan of the nether, as I think I've mentioned in a previous video, so all this lava does tend to make me a little wary. Uh oh. Ha-ha! I'm a fire and my laser. Uh-oh. Where'd that come from? Uh, jump here and over there. 
Ah, she built herself a little, uh... Temple. Or, not a temple, but a bridge to get over there. Let's see... Not dying. Still not dying. <clears throat> Let's get a little closer to the ground. Oh, Lord. That's gonna leave a mark. Well, we got Feather Falling 4, so... Just not dying. say from a distance this is a pretty awesome looking tower that was being hyped about earlier um, supposedly there's treasure in there Tower. Ooh, loving it. It's very nice <clears throat> use of uh, obsidian and uh, glass. The red, the nether brick. Be nice if we was able to use the uh, red nether brick a little bit. Let's say it's a really nice. Oh. Oh, come on. Darn. Very nice. Oh. Come on, LMB, you're kind of in the way. There. Whoa, let's not jump over the edge. That would be stupid. really terrible at this. I'm glad my life does not depend on being able to shoot this uh, gas down because I fail horridly. And in the lava you go. <laughs> ah, success after what, 20 arrows? So yeah, um, apparently this place naturally spawns um, ghasts, which is really cool, unless there's a spawner around here. Probably one up top. So, looks like the um, prize, so to speak, for getting up here. Some fire resist potions, uh, glowstone, blaze powder, block of gold, and everybody loves buckets of lava. I mean, come on. Ow. Don't shoot me, bro. Ow. Stop that. <laughs> um, Piggy is also doing a recording, and uh, she can't really do much in the way of talking right now, so... Uh, yeah, she's doing all the typing out. Get back here. I wish we could walk a little faster. Haha. <laughs> -ha. So, um, not sure. Ah, she did answer. She's just not sure of the answer to that, possibly. Let me see if we can't get myself. Oops. Um. Ah, yep. Definitely a spawner. Let's not die. Holy crap. I mean, granted, I have some pretty wicked armor on, so falling into the lava wouldn't be the end of the world, and I could probably get out of it pretty quick. But, uh, for the moment, let's not chance it. So, it looks like there's some nice mountain ranges here. Uh... 
we'll have to do a little exploring on that, see what kind of ore generations in these, if, they, if he's mimicked extreme hills. Uh, that over there looks like a pretty good entry point. We may have to come back and do that at some point. I probably will not record that, though. The FPS lag is real. Fast way down. This is rather fascinating. Way to go, Elemental. This is a really cool design. So... Let's go ahead and bounce back home, and we'll take a look at the upgrades that I've done. Alright. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I thought I had my home set elsewhere. Anyway. That's the great big creation. And sadly, it's raining, so it's not nearly as awesome and majestic and graceful looking as I'd like. But... Welcome to the tree farm on, in the town of Novus. Now, you may be thinking, well, this kind of looks like crap. There's no automaticness to it, no redstone, no pistons breaking and pushing and all that fun stuff. And you're right. I decided to go for a farm manual that would allow me to basically do all the types of wood. And uh, that didn't come out right. Ignore that. Anyway, all the tree types. Um, for spruce and jungle, I wanted to be able to use the 2x2 um, two two versions. I mean, honestly, you get a ton more wood out of them that way. Uh, the idea is, is I can cut these trees down and no longer have to worry about the saplings falling down and getting them picked up. The walls I set up like this so they could... Uh, any trees that might expand out past the farm and where the collection system would work could dump it down into the water and the water would then push uh, push the items down here into this trench well as you can see all of this is here is solid blocks so obviously I'm utilizing hopper carts anybody that knows anything about redstone and minecraft mechanics which these are all right here. Now you may be thinking, well, it ain't doing no good for them just to sit here. And why is it that I have them every other? Well, the idea here is that I have one hopper cart that goes all the way around the trench, goes over there, bounces back, and offloads here if it picks up any items. I have one hopper cart per two blocks and it goes all the way down here until it gets to this one and sadly I must have miscalculated somewhere and this one just runs the single line and you come up here and flip a switch to activate the system and it releases the um, power lock on these which basically it shuts them down turns them back on and allows them to go back and forth picking up items and if they happen to pick up any items the power drills over the hoppers there every other as you can see shuts down so long as there's items flowing through the hopper now we want to shut the system down because obviously we don't want to uh, keep them running continuously lag the system and the server out and cause any other issues like you know them stopping in mid track down there and I'd have to go trace them down and fix it and that's just terrible. As you can see I have chests here some of which has got saplings in it. Go ahead and grab those. And as you can see you can already see the redstone. Got myself a dropper tower here going up. Uh, this here is a item sorter, but the specifics of it is that it grabs the saplings. It then pushes the saplings this way up to the dropper, which then pushes its way up to the chest that's up above. Basically, this is going to require me, any time that I go through cutting trees down after a while, making sure that that chest doesn't get full, because then the dropper hopper line, or the dropper line here gets full and clogged and becomes a pain and I don't really want to have to deal with that. 
Um, let's see. Uh, you got a hopper line running all the way from here to each side going to the middle. Anything that the system picks up that is not a sapling and gets sorted that direction gets fired off here. Let's see. Uh, and of course dispensed ice path all the way down to the back side of the uh, item sorter and all the logs and maybe mobs that I kill if I have to do any of that. I do have it well lit up. Get sent to their uh, respective chests. Since I'm leaving the saplings over here, that also means that I'm going to have to start taking the uh, saplings that's out of the item sorter over there and do a little bit of repurposing of the item sorter and the many slots. As you can see, this right here is your power source for the rails that's not over the hoppers. And I believe I've showed the uh, hopper cart dock station before. Uh, yeah, you can see it here. You got your hopper. It goes into a chest. This is a buffer of sorts. This allows the items to slow down slightly long enough to keep this powered and shutting off the torch that powers the uh, rail here. And then, of course, it just goes over here. This one, since it's in the trench, is lower, and I have a single dropper item elevator that pushes it up into the system. Uh, the only flaw that's going to be there is in the event that this thing gets filled up full of items, but I honestly don't see it processing that much. Um, the stop mechanism... I had to play around with, and trust me, it took a lot of time to uh, get this all right. I had issues with, uh, like, this torch was powering stuff that shouldn't be, and I had to use a slab here to separate it from the droppers because the items were coming up and stopping here when this was powered. Bit of a problem. I had to use a slab on this spot here that's over a hopper because it was shutting the hopper down, and everything was getting clogged up there. Um... Uh, it's basically a sticky piston on a redstone block um, hiding underneath a block up top under the lever and uh, yeah just powers the system up goes across there it was the only way I could really get around the whole issue of you know the redstone torch there and still be able to power all these other things I probably actually could have used used another slab here and a uh, redstone repeater but this ended up working, and it works quite well. Now, I'm sure maybe one or two of you, the, the peop few people that actually watch my videos, might be interested to see how this all functions, depending I can figure out how to get back out of here. Oh, yes. the uh, Since I had only the one line over here, and I really did not want to run redstone and repeaters all the way around and then try and come in the backside to shut that other one off. This one actually has a sticky piston that turns on and off the hopper, which is right there, rail. And I thought that was kind of neat and ingenious. <clears throat> kind of makes me wish I'd have done it with all of them, but, eh, you know, what's done is done. Run down here. Throw the items in here, and just for fun, we will go ahead and throw the two gravel in. Should be able, to, you can see that fired off. Launch my two gravel down that way. The uh, saplings should have already launched all the way up there. Come on, there we go. We should have eight spruce and one oak. And there they are. Now, this took several days of planning, trying to figure out how I wanted things to get set up. Um, I, of course, wanted to make this as mob-proof as possible. I did my best lighting this all up. And, of course, they can't spawn on water, so that does help. I, I was a little worried about how this would all look, especially with the way the water's flowing. Um... Kind of thinking I may want to run some water buckets along this here just to kind of even that out. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, disagree, you know, whatever. 
that, uh, yeah, that's this build in a nutshell. Uh, if there's any questions on what it is I did, why I did it, please throw me a comment down and I'll explain to the best of my abilities. Um, because of this build and the extensive size of it, I actually had to reduce the size of my villager trading hall slightly. I believe I've showed it off way back when. You can tell now I only have the one door. I upgraded the flooring light so I can get rid of the torches because, well, torches are annoying. Eventually all the torches will be gone. I went ahead and filled out all the slabs. And I'm going to start placing chests along the top here. Possibly, maybe. I'm just not... I don't know. It's still being decided. I mean, i got to find a place to get rid of the excess watermelon without it all the time going into the lava. But, yeah, I think that still came out looking fairly decent. Probably could have designed it a little better. But... You know, that, that would require teardown and complete, and I just don't feel like messing with that. Um, I did finally go up, and I think this time I got my fingers crossed that I have got all the lighting issues up here that would allow zombies to spawn, because I believe there was one hiding back on the back side, and apparently I have forgotten at some point that... I was low on glowstone, I guess, and didn't use as much as I thought I did. So I've gone up there, I've replaced all the areas that needed glowstone, and it's very well lit up. So hopefully we'll find out eventually whether or not that actually worked. Um, so yeah, I do believe that's it for this episode. We didn't have any horse apocalypse come at us, which was very nice. For those that don't know, watch the previous episode and you'll understand. It was quite crazy. Um. Oh, apparently I need to finish cleaning up my mess. I had an issue with the wheat farm. I went to uh, go grab some wheat so I could use it to trade and rebuild tools and such, and there was very little wheat in the system. Come to find out, my hopper minecart was gone. It had completely disappeared from up there in that system. Needless to say, I got up in there, ended up putting a new system down, and decided that I should probably light it up a little better in there since it didn't have any real light and it would allow mobs to spawn in there. It's always possible that happened. So that issue's been eliminated. And, uh, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear from you. And maybe you guys can offer some improvements, some changes I could make. Uh, do you think it sucks? Should I tear it all down and start over? You know, up to you guys. And let me know if there's anything else you'd think you'd like to see me build. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next episode.